4 and 20 pi. I'll be taking this pi to an all new level today. A pie is judged by the ability to drive with it. Steering wheel in one hand and pie in the other without it dropping out and going all over your legs. And you can see this pie would easily pass that test. So I'm just heading down to one of the better butchers in town, making this special effort for the meat pie. Let's cut a bit of that fat off. You want a bit of fat, but that's just too much. And then we'll just cut that carcass in half. Straight down the middle. Or just maybe in the bits. <laughs> Those other carcasses, as I bought four today, can just go into a freezer bag. They can go in the freezer. It's always empty when you want to use it. Bit of black stuff. Some salt. And into the oven. 200, fan grill because I do want a little bit of colour on them. And let's cleanse that palette. A bit of pepper jack. With the carcass nice and brown, we will drop that into a pot of water to make some stock. The start of some delicious gravy. We will scratch away all those little brown bits. adding that to the stock. I've lived here for six years and still don't have a tin opener. I've never understood the peeling of a potato. I'm gonna try a bit of cream on one. See how that goes. And with some of those pre-made peas, Bit of black stuff and some nice salt. Bit of this stuff. One with a bit of olive oil. A few crystals. In with the puff pastry. Take this beautiful fillet steak. A bit of high smoke point oil. Let's sear it on every side. This is when I like to season it. To hold it in position, I use anything at hand, trying to brown every surface. Quick strain of the potatoes. If we look closely, we can see the skin has started to peel away. Evidence that they're perfectly cooked. Give the potatoes a rough, a very rough mash. I don't care about a few lumps. I think it just adds. I really don't like the creamy stuff. Bit of cream in with the mash. A little bit of nutmeg. like to wrap it up in foil during the resting. Tip that excess fat out from the meat and let's use some of the beautiful chicken stock to deglaze the pan. I'm gonna use just a little bit of Gravox powder to thicken it. The potatoes weren't quite as loose as I wanted them so I just added a 
little bit more cream with that big beautiful piece of eye fillet that beautiful rich gravy of course the pastry some of those mushy peas and there we have the classic Australian meat pie absolutely fucking delicious for the dog some of that gravy kibble and a bit of that creamy mash whoops I'm going to cook that steak just a little bit more.